Hey, what is up my Dial Gamers? Today we're going to be looking at all the information that you'll need to know if you are going to be doing Pokemon Go's July Community Day event. The headliner of this event is going to be Starly. You're going to be able to get your very own shiny Starly. There's also a few other little tidbits of information, but we'll get into that later on in the video first of all this is on pokemon's website i will leave a link to this specific article in the description below but the article starts out saying that the event will be on sunday july 17th 2022 from 11 a.m to 2 p.m local time so you're gonna have three hours to do the pokemon go community day event Throughout the day, Starly will appear more frequently in the wild. If you're lucky, you might even find a shiny one. Plus, if you evolve Staravia, Starly's evolution, into Staraptor during the event, or up to five hours afterward, that Staraptor will know the fast attack gust. Interesting that they're going with a fast attack this time around. I much prefer for the charged attack to be a really big special move, but eh. Guest is okay. July Community Day will also feature additional bonuses. Incense and lure modules activated during the event will last for three hours. You'll earn three times the experience and twice as much candy for catching Pokemon. And you'll have double the chance of getting Starly Candy XL when you catch Starly. Pokemon trades made between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. local time will require only half the regular amount of stardust and you'll be able to make an additional special trade during that time frame. You can also work with other trainers to unlock additional bonuses throughout the event. Catching enough Pokemon attracted to a single lure module will allow you to earn four times the experience points for catching Pokemon replacing the existing bonus for 30 minutes. And here's where they get you. I don't really like that they put stuff behind a paywall, even if it's only a dollar. But the event itself, like the actual Community Day event, only takes place between three hours. And granted, yes, you can still complete these tasks later on, but it becomes a little bit more difficult uh, when the event is not actually going on. Tickets for a Starly Community Day exclusive special research story titled Field Notes Starly will be available for one US dollar or the equivalent pricing tier in your local currency. Remember that you can treat a friend to a special research ticket by tapping the special research ticket in the in-game option then tapping the gift button. Certain restrictions apply. You'll also be able to extend your July Community Day experience by participating in four-star raids. On July 17th, 2022, from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. local time, look for blue-colored eggs appearing at the top of gyms to take on Staravia. Defeating Staravia in a raid will cause Starly to appear in the wild within a 300-meter radius of the gym for the next 30 minutes. These four star raids are not accessible via remote raid passes and can only be accessed with raid passes or premium battle passes. I kind of like that they have these bonus raid things. It is a four star raid, so I would say if you're like a level 40 or up, you could probably do it by yourself, maybe. But for the average Joe like me, I'm like a level 36. I think I'm almost level 37. I'm not going to be able to do this. It's a five hour window. If you beat Staravia, then it looks like it just kind of becomes a Starly lure in that area around the gem that you beat. So I like that because one of the big grievances of recent community day events is that it's only between a three hour window and especially if it's on like a saturday or i don't know i feel like a lot more people work on saturdays than sundays if you have a weekend job then you're kind of screwed anyway but you know it's kind of in the middle of the day to where if you're working you're probably going to be working during this time so 
I like that they have a little bit of an extra thing, especially if you purchase that $1 special research um, story. It's going to be a lot easier to complete all your tasks if you also have that option to catch a bunch of Starlies. Granted, it's only for a 30 minute period once you beat that raid, but it's still, it's something is better than nothing. That's all the information that I've got for you. I'm definitely going to be taking part in this community day event. I didn't do it in June. I either forgot or I was busy. I'm not exactly sure what I was doing, but I'm definitely going to be doing this one. I wish you guys all the best luck. I hope you get plenty of shinies and I hope you're able to complete all your tasks and I will see you guys in the next video.